We're in a top secret facility because I'm taking on a very special challenge. We're putting the laws of physics to the test. We're going to be taking on one of its most famous forces to push science to the limit. This is Mission Friction. This year, the BBC launched Terrific Scientific, which is all about getting us excited by science. We wanted to get involved in the biggest way possible, so I called upon science expert Greg Foote to help us test the powers of friction. Greg, I'm so glad you're here to help out. Firstly, please tell me, what exactly is friction? Right, so whenever you take two objects and they touch or they rub together, you get a force of friction between them. Okay. Try this, rub your hands together. Yeah. What do you feel? They're getting hot? Yeah, exactly. So you're having to put in energy to overcome that friction and some of that energy is getting transferred into heat, which you can feel. Okay, so how do we actually test friction? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> What exactly is this? Oh, I've wanted to do this for ages. This is the recreation of a very famous experiment that takes two books and then it interleaves the pages together. You take the bottom page from this book and you put the bottom page from this book on top oh. of it. And a page from this and a page from this, kind of wrapping the pages on top of each other, interleaving them and you're left with that. And they lock together. Like I can't imagine how many hours that oh, takes. so <laughs> long. For this test, we're using two chunky books and the rubber band is there purely to keep the book covers from flopping about. It's going to take a massive force to pull it apart. Yeah, but the question is, how massive? <laughs> well, we need something quite a lot stronger than us, that's for sure. How about two vans which will drive in opposite directions to try and pull the books apart? And what I've done is I've put in this thing. This is called a load cell. What this is going to do is tell us the maximum amount of force that these vans are pulling on either side of this bad boy book rig. What's going to happen? Is it going to rip? Is it going to survive? There's only one way to find out. Three, two, one, pull! Look at that! Try harder! That's unbelievable. Oh, yes. Okay. Woo! Did you see what happened? Let's go in. Are we good? Is it safe? Yeah. Going in, guys. Okay. I can't believe this didn't break. 1,167 kilograms. So what does that mean? That is like hanging 18 adults off this book rig. But you know what? I think we can take this bigger. What do you mean? To be honest, you, you really do not want to know. has a super-sized experiment that will really test these books. And it's all going to take place at the home of Blue Peter at Media City in Salford. So, Greg, we built our own mini Media City here. Yep. Why? My plan is I want to dangle you underneath those interweaved books. Attach the other end to a zip wire, OK? So this is you here and then send you 235 metres down a zip wire, all the way down into the piazza, dangling using nothing <laughs> but friction. Is this a joke? Are you joking? Nope. I actually can't get my head around that. This is a proper, proper Blue Peter challenge. It doesn't get more extreme than this. This challenge is so big, we need another presenter, someone with nerves of steel and a matching suit. We need Radzi. As we get into position 35 metres up, it all becomes sickeningly real. I, di I didn't think it was that high. And now, now that we're up here looking down to where I need to go, oh, my tummy That's just went. That's a long way. My tummy just went. I'm not going to look for a sec. I'm just going to look. I'm going to look this way. I'm no, I don't. Come on, it's not as bad as you back in you know that. You ready to go? You look no. ready to me. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I've already scared. Do I, what, well, what do you... Keep my arm here a minute, so you can shuffle up my arm. Why are we trusting a book to get me <laughs> to the other... Oh, oh, I've just looked over again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Go. <laughs> just the friction between those pages. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. How was it, Linz? I'm crying! 
Get me off, get me off. It worked. Mate, that was amazing. You know what? The speed really picked up. About halfway through, it, that went from being fine to actually, how am I going to stop? The whole way I was like, come on, science. Come on, friction. I wasn't nervous at all watching Lindsay. But now knowing I'm using the same books that she used, and the weather's getting worse, and it's raining. Well, think what normally happens when paper gets wet. It gets all soggy and mushy. Yeah, and it tears easily. Yeah. I don't think it's going to be able to take as much load on it as soon oh, as it gets Don't say that, wet. Greg. Come on. Come on, Rads. I think he's near. I'm going to do it. Wish me luck. So will two soggy books hold Radzi's weight for 235 metres at speeds of over 25 miles per hour? Cue the countdown. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. one. Woo! Thursday on CBBC.